Good evening. I'm super excited to be here and to share some of my favorite and learned tips of Instagram on how to grow your Instagram, how to get and continue and maintain consistency, um, and how to just do it. So that's probably my very first thing is do not be intimidated. Do not overthink the rules. Do not overthink it. Um, this is fun. This is your space. You can post what you want to attract who you want. It's we're in the business of making friends and this is a great spot to do that. And we're really, really, um, lucky to have Instagram and have social media to be able to build our businesses on. So my very first um, thing is just a little bit about me. So you know why I'm sharing this and where I've learned my knowledge. Um, so I have been building my Instagram for almost eight years now and I have fallen flat on my face. <laughs> I have done really well and I've had really big lulls and I just kind of learn and take everything from that. I have definitely invested in trainings, um, but I don't necessarily think you have to, to be able to build or have a successful Instagram. Um, it's steady. It's slow. I am consistent. That's probably my biggest piece of advice. It's there's no secret sauce. Nobody's better or prettier than anybody else or, you know, can do this faster. Um, consistency is key. It is going to build you steadily and continue that growth and find you the people that you want to find. Um, because like I said, we're in the business of making friends first and foremost, because anybody can buy these products from anyone. Why do they want to buy from you? Why do they want to be your friend? Why are they going to learn to trust you and trust these products in this business and, and join the business as well? Um, so that is really important to always remember and keep that in here. Just do you show you be real? Cause that's, that's what they're, that's what you're really selling. <laughs> um, okay. Do not compare. Comparison is the thief of joy. It will get in your head, keep that mindset, know that you have something of value, know that you are, you believe in what you do already, you're here for a reason, and your why is so, so, so consistent. Ooh, I love that question. I will come back to questions and make sure I get everything answered. That's a great question, Nikki. Um, so definitely, like, make sure that you know that you're here. If you can't follow leaders and you can't follow, you know, other people or follow people that you think are amazing and better than you, which side note, they're not, um, you have value and you need to believe that first and foremost, before you bop on social media, put those blinders on, don't follow them, unfollow them. If you can't follow me and follow me, although I'm really fun, but, and I hope to share value and help everybody. Cause that's, um, what's always helped me. Uh, so the biggest thing too, um, oh, and most, and well, here's my little disclaimer. A lot of this is from trainings or from just learning the algorithm, following insights, kind of going with the ebbs and flows of Instagram. Uh, but a lot of this is my opinions on what I have seen work and what doesn't work. So take what you need with a grain of salt. Also, do not go in and implement every single thing tonight. This will stay in here. You can always search you know, Instagram, my name, and you can always come back. I do recommend taking one thing that really stuck out to you tonight that you think could would really help you and implement it right now. But do not think you have to implement all these because you'll get overwhelmed and you also don't want to go change everything because that's not going to help either. So I love you too. That's so sweet. Um, actually, this is a great time to answer. So this question is, do you use a calendar to pre-plan posts to stay consistent? Personally, I do not unless I have a launch coming up um, or something like, for instance, my cookbook is coming out soon. So I do have dates on the calendar that I need things put there then and what I'm going to say. Now, if you've got a really busy week and you want to make sure you've got your posts ready to go, you definitely can. I take notes if I'm listening to personal development or we hit on something in a meeting or I think of something during the day when I'm driving or in the shower. I pull over, or I pull out of the shower and I just jot down notes really fast and I, cause I have a post idea in my notes. So that's what I do. You can pre-plan posts. 
for me, that doesn't work so well. Um, I do jot ideas, but then I have to go back when I'm feeling inspired by it or when I think of the right picture for it. Um, and then I put it together. So do what works for you. I do make sure I post on Sunday and or Monday um, because those just seem to be two of my best days in the evenings. And um, unless it's relevant to morning, but we'll get into that a little bit. Once again, don't overthink it. But if you need to, if you need to pre-plan, that's great. Just ideas work for me. And I've kind of gotten down to a pattern too of when I know when I'm gonna do, like yesterday I knew I was gonna do a birthday post for my husband. I knew I was gonna do a before and after of sixth grade for my son the other day. And so I kind of scattered business in there. Um, now that's for the post and the feed. My recommendation is to post four to seven times a week. You will hear from a lot of Instagram influencers, um, or motivational speakers to post more in your newsfeed. Personally, that has never worked for me. It also puts a lot of pressure on you and I don't think you're gonna have as good a quality of posts because that's a lot of things. Also that I get annoyed as an audience and I consider myself pretty, um, you know, I've done this for quite some time. I've got a steady amount of followers. I have almost 22,000. That's not, some people grow way faster than that. To me, that shows steady and consistency. It also matches with my likes. I get almost a thousand, if not over a thousand to 1200 likes average per post. That just shows that I've got engagement, that I have followers that come back, and that I have people that are constantly in my feed or in my stories. Um, that for sure is what I am proud of and that I will build on. So I hope that answers your question, Nikki. Um, okay. My, one of my biggest takeaways and tips that I have literally stayed with, and this can waver a little bit if you need it to, but for the most part, it should match with your why. Um, and we can talk, I could talk about why forever. So that could be a whole nother topic. I'm not going to get in that tonight, but make sure you have a why because you are not going, you're not going to want to be consistent. You're not going to be able to think of things to share. It's going to be hard to hone in on who you want to attract, um, and who you want to be friends with. If you don't know your why and why you're here and what you're doing this for. So your Instagram could get real crazy real fast if you are like, well, I like this and I like this and I like that and I want to share this quote and I want to do this and I want to drink this wine and I want to show this travel thing or whatever. Like it will get, and I will definitely share my why with you at the end. That's a great idea. It always makes me cry. So the end is better. Um, and it should. Your why should make you cry. That sounds so cheesy, but you guys... It's got to keep you in it. There are going to be days that suck. Um, to be honest and real and raw, I had a real shitty news situation happen to me today and it broke me really fast. But I got back in it. I ran around the house, danced a little bit, turned on some music, and then was able to dig into my why, read my why that I wrote down almost eight years ago, and knew why I was here and called to share with you guys and make this... Um, and be able to give value because that's my favorite part is empowering other women. And that's probably why I've stuck with it and been able to hone in. That's a big part of my why too. So anywho, we'll get back to that. But um, I want you to find five things that kind of encompass your why or that you, if somebody asked you, what are you about? What do you love? I want you to have five things that make up you that are going to be sprinkled throughout your Instagram and your Facebook and any other platform you have. Um, Mine are fitness. These are in no certain order. Well, family's first always, but fitness, because I probably post that the most, family, food, slash wine, um, with an emphasis on plant-based, but I share my treats. I'm very real. Um, freedom and fashion. So freedom means like freedom, sense of time, sense of freedom. The, I was able to leave my job. I want to share that. I want to share, you know, freedom of... Um, self-deprecation. <laughs> it's like freedom of self-love and empowerment and just being the best you and living your life for you and for others. So that's freedom's a big one there, but, and then fashion. So fitness, family, food, wine, freedom, fashion. They don't have to rhyme. Those just make me up. So I sprinkle those throughout. Um, sometimes I'm going to be a little more focused. Like I said, my cookbook's coming out. That'll be a little more focused on that in my feed, but I will still make sure I'm showing my other things. Um, fitness is pretty heavy on there because that business is 
really big and important to me. And that's the one I've been ran, running for almost eight years. To be honest, it, pay, it pays my bills. <laughs> so it's, I got to keep that on the forefront. Plus, I won't be me without fitness in my life. Um, and I'm always happy to bounce ideas. Like if you want to bounce ideas, I love doing that. So I'm happy to go over your five things. And they can change. Mine have not changed. They might have altered a little bit, but they have not changed over the years. Um, these are who it's who makes makes up Whitney. Okay. Do share your business. Make sure you're sharing it, but don't make it all business. Like I said, we're gonna pull things back from when I've started, um, because this kind of all goes together. You, anybody can do this. Anybody can sell whatever. It doesn't even matter what it is. And there's a lot of, a lot of network marketing on social media, which you see it every day. But I'm pretty sure if you see something that you've seen on 80 other people's page, or they just have a stock photo flash sale on their newsfeed, you're going to scroll on by. But if you see a picture of a girl excited with whatever she's selling or talking about, you know, something that's making her happy or doing something funny um, and just being really real and true to herself, you're going to stop and look. So that is really important. Share the business. Share the business. Do not only share the business. Share and sprinkle in your five things. Like I said, I shared my husband's picture. My people love when I show pictures of like my family um, and things of us doing out there and all, you know. They don't love when I just show wine or when I just show workout clothes or when I just show, you know, 80 million workout moves. Um, <laughs> so that's important to sprinkle all in. That makes up all you. So definitely um, continue to share the business and make sure you're hitting it. And there's not an algorithm to, oh, only share it once a week. Only share it, you know, once a month, like, oh, definitely share more than once a month, but make sure it's sprinkling in. I kind of try to rotate these five things. Um, like I said, a little more of some, it can be heavy in one department for a little while, but I'm making sure I'm sprinkling in fun and family and fluff and something maybe hilarious in there as well. So, um, that's a big one. So share the biz. Don't only share the biz. Number two, Post, um, like I said, post four to f seven posts in your newsfeed a week. If you need to do a few more, totally fine. I re really, really, really recommend unless you're like completely shadow banned, meaning you've been booted off, which has happened to me on Instagram. I've been in Instagram jail before. It's probably going to happen again. <laughs> um, no, I never know why, but I always come back. Um, that would be the only reason. Or if like maybe there's a major family emergency or something, obviously, life matters. Instagram's not end all be all, but try really hard to do four to seven a week in your newsfeed. Um, you will hear, like I said, you will hear from some people, you need to do four a day. Y'all don't do four a day. I've never seen that work and you will get burnt out and your audience will get sick of you. Plus there won't be, you can't share that much value. I mean, we got cool lives and all, but that's not, that you gotta be really cool for that. Um, Use reels, like you can do reels, you can do lives, that all counts. Just make sure it's all on your newsfeed. You can do IGTV. If you want to share a quote, you can do that. But I definitely recommend sharing a quote with a photo and not having the words on the photo. Um, having the words and your quote in your caption and have a picture of you. If you guys go through my Instagram, you're going to see me in almost every single picture. It is rare that I am not in every photo on there. People want to see you. They want to see the real you. Um, okay, so that I've hit that quite a bit, but that's important. Do use stories. I'm going to repeat that again. Do use stories. Do not let them stress you out or scare you. I recommend six or more per day. I don't recommend probably more than like 15 to 20 in a 24-hour period. Um just when it gets a little dotty, people aren't going to stop and watch. They're going to like scroll through or just get bored. But definitely aim for six or more a day. Um, this can be anything. And you guys, this is one thing. And I'm going to tell you this until I'm blue in the face all the time. Do not overthink stories. They're only up there for 24 hours. If you don't like the way your face looks, I don't give a damn. I look a mess today. 
I look a mess. This has not been brushed. I am not, I threw on some mascara and lip gloss to try to make me look not so dead. Um, I've literally been at a baseball cap for probably a week straight. Like, I'm not even wearing pants right now, to be honest. Real life. Um, and I'll probably share that in my story after this. Like, that's a perk. That's a work from home perk in my book. It's hot as hell. I'm not wearing pants. Um, keeping it real. Like, that is big. That's probably why I have my followers I have. Nobody wants perfection because that's not real. They want real. They want real moms. They want, you know, that's be you. Um, but I still, that doesn't mean I didn't talk this morning on a video. I was eating and talking after my workout, sweating balls in the garage. And I did my stories there. I shared a picture of my food, um, which I do a lot. I share that. People want to see what you're eating. Um, people always are like, what do you mean you're plant-based? What do you mean? Like, so I shared, you know, my hack today of what my lunch was like microwave bags of frozen shit. And I shared what I did and how I made it yummy. And it literally took me two minutes. So that's important. Tonight's dinner, there's a little more thought into it. Um, or maybe Mexican stuffed sweet potatoes, again, plant-based. So I'll share that and I'll share maybe a little hack of that. Uh, if you're not, if food's not your thing, don't share your food. You don't have to. But if you're out and you want to share your ice cream, share your ice cream, you know? So share your drinks. Share when you're not drinking. Share just whatever's you. Um, share your kids. Share your messy house. If you just took a picture of your kid and you're like, well, shit, there's, you know, laundry in the background. I don't care. Post it. It's 24 hours. And if you, even if you have laundry in your background in your newsfeed, like I'm, I guarantee you a mom would rather see that than not see that because she probably 90% has her laundry on her couch <laughs> or behind, you know, her. So, um, definitely share. Yes, I will do that in the format. Absolutely, Lurie. Um, I'm also going to share a little video of how I find my insights because we'll talk about that for a second too. So, okay. So make sure you're sharing stories. Got it? Great. Um, do use hashtags. You can use up to 30 hashtags. Do not put your hashtags in your caption. It's messy looking. It doesn't matter. They can be in a separate comment, but do put them immediately after you post. So this is what I do. I'm going to go through what I do. So I write my post in notes because that's where I can have it spaced out. I can double check it. Still have grammar errors, probably eight out of 10 times. Fuck it. I don't care. Um, it's earmuffs. Sorry. I do cuss from time to time. Um, so if there's children, it's just words. Sorry about that, but don't do that, children. Um, I keep my hashtags in my notes. I do have three different sets that have some of the same hashtag in there, but they're kind of mixed up. And I usually add in like something at the end that might have to do with the post. Or I do do several promotion and ads, and then I have to put in there sponsorship or partnership, ad, maybe the hashtag of the name of the company. Or what it is. Don't use what you're selling. Don't use the company names um, because you want to attract people. Like who, what do you want people to come and see your page for? You don't want to attract other reps that are doing what you're doing. Like obviously you're going to go check out your team. I follow a lot of you and that's great, but I don't want people to go be attracted to you guys. I want them to come to me. So, um, a lot of don't do boy mom. Don't do like that. You're going to get way too many network marketers and it's really broad. I like to search and kind of see how many are in what thing. So like, um, for instance, I, so I do do wine time. Um, I'll do like, uh, why not? Let's see. Um, I used to get a lot of people off of almond champagne cause that was really big back in the day, Wilson Creek. Um, I do hashtag wineries cause I like to attract people for wineries because I like to go to wineries. Um, I hashtag play it through. This is my husband's company. I, this month I've been hashtagging a few different pride hashtags cause I want to follow those people too. Um, and I want them to find me as well. And, um, and I do that all the time, not just pride month, but it's a little more out there this month. Um, what else? I'll share what, and you can always see it in my posts. You can see my hashtags and I might have a few generic ones. I like Sunday fun day. I don't care. It's fun. Um, I do brunch ones, brunch so hard. 
I do, I do do some mom ones. Um, I do do some Temecula, some SoCal, but for the most part, like hashtags. Oh, so keep them in your notes. You copy them. You, so I copy my caption from my notes. I go put it in my Instagram, see it in my feed, make sure everything's peachy. I do not edit. If there's a grammar issue, I suck it up and I leave it because you will drop in the feed if you go and edit within 24 hours. I know it sucks, it's not my rule. Go back to your notes, copy your um, hashtags, change it up if you have to, if you have a few you wanna add or you're like, ooh, this one's good. Um, if you're at a certain restaurant that day or something and you're like, I wanna track, you know, I wanna look at that restaurant, okay. Go um, put that back in your situation right away. And then you can leave for a little bit. Um, this is really nitpicky, but you will get, you will stay in the feed and be put in more of your followers' feeds if you answer back within an hour. If people are commenting and you comment back to them with more than three words, emojis don't freaking count, you will be staying in the news feed. So I usually do to that if I can. Um, if you have to go and have to do it later, Dude, just don't sweat it. Not a big deal, but... And if I have a really big one going out, like a call to action for my business, I definitely try to stay in there. Um, I do most of my posts at night because that's when most of my audience is on there. I'm going to show you guys how to find your insights in your audience if you don't know how. Can be a little tricky. Um, well, it was for me. So, hashtags. Don't use hashtags on Facebook. They don't matter. Um... Don't share your Instagram post to your Facebook. I know this isn't about Facebook, but you can go back after you get all your business out on Instagram. You got your hashtags out. You're feeling yourself. You're like, this post is going to kill it. You go back to your notes. You copy your caption and you go and you post it on your Facebook. It can be the same thing. Just don't share it. Um, yeah, hope that helps. There are a few different rules on Facebook for the most part. We're all similar, owned by the same company. So, but yeah, no, you don't need hashtags there. Um, oh yeah, don't use the company you're repping. Use who you want to attract. Like, who would you, who's your avatar? Like, who would you want to, I want to attract more me because I'm pretty fun. Um, and I get along with me. So I think of what I would search for. I, I do plant-based desserts. Dude, I'm searching for recipes and desserts on Instagram all the time. Have for eight years. A lot of people search that. I search April birthdays. I search tourist shit. Like, all sorts of stuff. Don't share to Facebook because it'll get, it'll fall in the feed. You won't have, it, the algorithm will hide it. Um, good question. I will make sure I come back and answer all these even if this live is done and I'll put all the answers in the comments like I'll reply to you guys um yeah change it absolutely change that it automatically shares to both now you can share to Twitter or Tumblr if you want um because honestly and you don't need to be everywhere like do not overthink it don't you don't need to be on Pinterest and Twitter that's just too much you're gonna spread yourself too thin and you're gonna have a heart attack um Instagram is where it's at Facebook is good for like that, that family or, you know, grandma that wants to see your stuff and she's not on Instagram, but to be honest, you're not, and it's great for groups and like for us, but it's not going to be, um, huge for building. It might, but yeah, just don't share it, but it's all you have to do is copy and paste. It just takes an extra couple of seconds after you do your hashtags. If you forget hashtags too, don't, don't sweat it. Um, I may make sure I do hashtags for big posts. For the most part and like when I was doing Jaden's school before and after the other day I would do, I don't know if I did hashtags we were doing 80 things at once I had already photo gridded his pictures done my notes on it on this little caption it was like one sentence and I was like whatever <laughs> it actually did really well of course those ones are gonna do awesome people want to see you're their nosy they want to see your family they want to see how much my child grew it's creepy and weird but it's it's true <laughs> um okay that it did I hit it all that was a lot actually though oh yeah keep messy house videos of you oh stories back to stories when you are doing a video which do it if you have not done it I challenge you tonight 
to go into your stories and talk. I don't care what you talk about. You can talk about how your kid is driving you ape shit and you're having an extra glass of wine because you earned it. You can talk about how you were hot and you were not wearing pants because that's what I'm going to go share. Probably won't video that, but I already did my videos today. So I talked about my workout and eating and some random, oh, uh, drinking last night. <laughs> um, I do only, I try really, really hard to keep it under two minutes. So that's eight stories. It'll give you four and then it'll stop, cut you off. You can go back in and if you need to do a little filter, you can, you can put your word in there. You can tag anybody you want, put your captions, make it pretty, do your fonts, whatever your colors. Then you can put it that can share to your Facebook. Sorry, by that way, stories, share it. That's too much work to try to save it in your phone and then go back in there. Stories are up 24 hours. You want to be active in stories because people watch stories, but you don't need to. Yeah, stories are amazing. They're going to get you your people. That's why you want to do at least six a day. That's where people are at. And reels. Reels are going to be shared and going to be there a lot. So get start to get comfortable with reels. I suck at reels. But you know what? I do it. Because they are in the real section, they will be, they are, they're where it's at. They're where Instagram's putting all their business right there. So you got to do that. You got to get comfortable with lives too. Lives make me want to hurl, but I just drink some wine and get on. Um, and I don't do it very often. And, um, but those are only up 24 hours too, unless you share it into your feed. And then you can share your reel and your posts into your stories as well. And that counts as a story. So double whammy. I'm gonna make sure I'm hitting everything. I will make sure I put all these notes in the comments as well. Um, but also my biggest piece of advice is have fun. Remember that at the end of the day, you're making friends and you're being you and authentically you. Don't worry if your thing doesn't look like Susie Homemakers. Don't worry if you think you look fat today. Like you don't. You're beautiful, you're enough, and you're perfect on social media because you're being you. So that like, ooh, emotional. Um, that's important. Don't compare, don't compare, don't compare. It is the thief of joy, you guys. Comparison is gonna kick your ass and, it, and you're not gonna be who you wanna be. I mean, that's why, think of why people don't even join the business. It's because they're already comparing themselves to you the minute you invite them or th comparing themselves to somebody else and thinking they can't do it. So just know that you have value to share and that you're here for a reason and that you want to be. And that's why we're going to full circle it back. You go to your why. So my why um, has first and foremost always been to be true to myself and live each day to its fullest. I have had a pretty crazy tough life. Um, I do share that and sprinkle that in at my stories. Everybody has something though. Everybody has gotten over some sort of trauma or something or is dealing with something in their life. Um, so my why was to fuck all that and do what I wanted to be able to provide for myself and my family and live the life I wanted. I was sick of the rat race. I had earned custody of my, that's a weird way to put it, but I guess earned custody of my child and was able to move states, but was told that I needed to be present in his life or it would not be the way I wanted moving from Oregon to California. And that was judge orders. So I, um, started a marketing job and realized I could not be with him as much as I want. I left what I knew. I was a rep clothing rep and I did this marketing job just to try to like make ends meet and figure it out and then was introduced to Beachbody and fell in love um, with sharing the journey and with helping other women and with having that support and that community and that accountability, which we're all here for in the end, no matter what business you're doing. So I think, um, I, well, I know that's, that was my why. My, it's always been me and my family. It's me first because I'm the one steering the ship and making it happen. And I have to love myself and know that I'm the best mom and I'm doing the best I can before I can take care of my kid. Just like you have to put your oxygen mask on first before you put it on your child, same shit. So that's my why. And it's to empower others and have others realize. So it's all, it 
ties in all these, like the freedom of time, the freedom of money, the freedom of being able to sit here, you know, something small as being able to sit here and run a meeting with you guys while I've got dinner going on downstairs and I'm not even wearing pants. It's also the freedom to be able to pick up and go to the beach on a freaking Tuesday or go to wine country with my husband. Like that is huge. But to be able to like buy a house after bankruptcy, those all tie into my why. But that's the main reason is I wanted to live my life for me because I didn't want to build a business for anybody else or a life for anybody else. I wanted to do this for me and my family. That's my why. Um, it can, and it, you know, it's, it's changed a little bit here and there, but that's the main forefront. And that should kind of go with your five things as well. Um, if you're staying true to that, you will always show up because you have a gift and you have something that people need. Because if I hadn't found the person that introduced me to being able to build a business on social media, I would still be doing that rat race. I probably wouldn't be a homeowner. Lord knows where my kid would be. Okay. <laughs> so on that note, <laughs> um, I love you guys. Thanks for letting me share. I'm always happy to help. I love talking social media. I love talking Instagram. I'm learning just like you are every day and building just like you are. There's days I don't want to show up to. Do it. Do it for your why. Okay. I will make sure I get the notes in here right now and I will save this as well in here. Um, you can always search it, do's and don'ts. Or I think if you search Instagram and my name, it should come up. Um, what else? Oh, and I'm going to make you a little video on how to check insights. Okay. Thank you. I love you too. Oh, just going to keep crying. Okay. <laughs>